this diagram, I think, tells the story of very well of, of the basics of flood protection. Um, as I mentioned, there are two different zones, the A zone and V zone. And now we have a, a third um, zone that has structural requirements attached to it. I think we'll probably talk more about that later. It's called the coastal A zone. But in the A zone, you have two choices of flood protection. You have dry flood proofing, which means sealing the building to keep the water out. And you have wet flood proofing, which generally means elevating a building or sometimes can mean evacuating the ground floor and basically turning it into parking building access or storage and providing appropriate flood vents to allow the water to come in and come out. Um, so, and then the, in, in a V zone, because of the wave action, the force of the waves, your only option is really to elevate or wet flood proof the building. Um, so the, these requirements have a lot of implications on land use, how we use our buildings, and, and building design. 